Don't depend too much on anyone in this world because even your own shadow leaves you when you are in darkness. Some people have the disease of criticizing all the time. They forget the good about others and only mention their faults. They are like flies that avoid the good and pure places and land on the bad and wounds. This is because of the evil within the self and the spoiled nature. What really counts are good endings, not flawed beginnings. A calamity that makes you turn to Allah is better for you than a blessing which makes you forget the remembrance of Allah. If I remain silent and you remain silent, then who will teach the ignorant? What can my enemies do to me? My paradise is in my heart, it is with me wherever I go. To imprison me is to provide me with seclusion. To send me into exile is to send me away in the path of Allah. And to kill me is to make me a martyr. The disease that knowledge brings is arrogance, and the disease that worship brings is showing off. Allah will support the just state even if it is led by unbelievers, but Allah will not support the oppressive state even if it is led by believers. Dikr, remembrance of Allah, is to the heart as water is to a fish, see what happens to a fish when it is taken out of water. The sincere hearts and the pious supplications are soldiers which can never be defeated. You should not look at what the person used to do, rather you should look at what kind of person they are today. The one who gets bogged down about people's pasts, is just like Iblis who said to Allah, You created me from fire and you created him from clay. Make Tauba not just for sins you've committed, but also for obligations you haven't fulfilled. If you do good in secret, Allah will shower his good on you in public. When people help one another in sin and transgression, they finish by hating each other. The real prisoner is the one whose heart has been kept away from remembering his Lord, and the real captive is the one who has been captivated by his whims and desires. Guidance is not attained except with knowledge and correct direction is not attained except with patience. When someone offends me, I think it's a gift from Allah, God. He, Allah, is teaching me humility. Allah guards the justice-loving government, even if it is the government of non-Muslims, and destroys the tyrant government even if it is the government of Muslims. Everyone experiences bouts of jealousy, but the dignified person conceals it, while the vulgar one acts upon it. Whatever is not done by the permission of Allah will not happen, and what is not done for the sake of Allah will not benefit or remain. Verily, I constantly renew my Islam until this very day, as up to now, I do not consider myself to have ever been a good Muslim. In this world there is a paradise, whoever does not enter it will not enter the paradise of the hereafter. Men mixing with women is like fire mixing with wood. Beautiful leaving, Hedra is to leave without harming, beautiful pardoning is to pardon without rebuking, and beautiful patience is to be patient without complaining. If you correct your hidden deeds subsequently, Allah will correct your outward deeds. The more humble, needy, and subdued you are before Allah, the closer you will be to Him. The sign of the people of Baida is that they do not follow the Salaf. Contentment is the greatest door that one enters to Allah, 
It is the source of tranquility for the worshipper in paradise on earth. Whoever does not enter it will not enter the paradise in the hereafter. A believer to another believer is like two hands, one washes the other, correcting each other. What can you do with me? My John I is in my heart. If you take me to jail, I will make Zikr of Allah. If you exile me out of my land, I will make to Kafir. If you execute me, I would be a Shaheed. What can you do with me? Because I am not limited to this dunya. I am living for al Akira. No love that a man has will only give him pleasure in return he shall also suffer pain because of it, except for love of Allah. The people of the Sunnah are the most knowledgeable of mankind concerning the truth, and the most merciful of the creation towards the rest of creation. Avoiding the temptation to sin and being patient upon that, is greater than being patient whilst being afflicted with trials. Imprisoned is he whose heart is imprisoned from Allah. Captured is he who is captured by his desires. This whole religion revolves around knowing the truth and acting by it, and action must be accompanied by patience. A man will never fear something besides Allah unless it be due to a disease in his heart. Sins are like chains and locks preventing their perpetrator from roaming the vast garden of Tawhid and reaping the fruits of righteous actions. Among the principles of the Allah's Sunnah wal Jamalai the attitude of peace and purity of their heart and tongue towards the Sahaba companions of the Prophet, saw. Through patience and certainty, leadership in the religion is obtained. Sins cause harm and repentance removes the cause. The one who is, truly, Imprisoned is the one whose heart is imprisoned from Allah and the captivated one is the one whose desires have enslaved him.